Hello and welcome to Entity Entertainment Arts. My name is Victor van Scratchen Sniff and I am the CEO of this game studio. Here at EEA it's our dream to make the gaming experience of tomorrow a reality today. And if you're watching this video that means you are now a part of this dream. By agreeing to our terms of service, which no doubt you read thoroughly before installing the latest update for Renegade Chronicles Revelation, you agreed to participate in our new real-life gameplay testing program. As stated in those terms, which you totally agreed to, we spontaneously relocated you to our state-of-the-art testing facility. Here you will be taking part in several rounds of testing to help us create the best possible gameplay experience humanity has to offer. <laughs> of course, you know all of that already. <laughs> I mean, who agrees to terms of service without reading them beforehand, right? But still, I would like to thank you on behalf of our company and remind you that by clicking agree you also waived your right to hold us accountable for any physical or psychological damages you might sustain during this program. Please follow the instructions of our staff and have a wonderful day. <laughs> Hello and thank you for taking part in our testing program. My name is Victor von Skatschensniff and I'll be your testing supervisor today. Uh, please proceed to the next area and try not to break anything. Test subject appears to have some sort of bias regarding cube interactions. Probably stemming from being exposed to too many video games. Please proceed through the door on your right hand side. Subject does not appear to grasp the concept of right hand side. Difficulty settings will be turned down to probably brain dead. Interesting approach. How unusual. You also agree to the terms of service? Yeah, me too. I used to have legs. I miss those. Fascinating. Interesting approach. How unusual. 
So, I heard about this crazy new thing called color psychology. Uh, apparently, you can manipulate a person's emotions by exposing them to certain colors. That sounds so incredibly evil, I spent half of our budget on this room just to try it out. So I want you to play around with the colors of the lights and then we'll see if that has any effect on me. If you need any help, I wrote some useful stuff on that white boat over there. Those last few rounds of testing were just exhausting. Especially for me. I would like to relax a bit. So, could you adjust the light accordingly? Now that is relaxing. Hmm, actually, that might be a bit too relaxing. Mm, I can't afford to be slacking off. I have a meeting with our ethics committee later. And I need to be intimidating enough to yell them into submission. So, some anger would be greatly appreciated. I need to get fired up. Uh, put the fear of God into them. <laughs> that would be so nice. Those goddamn wimps! No! <laughs> You can't use high voltage on those ducklings, that's immoral! Ha! What was I supposed to do? Use low voltage? Ha! Nobody cares about reactions to low voltage! Bah! I can't think clearly when I'm just mad! I want to be happy just for once! I always wondered what it feels like. Make it happen! Oh, yes! Ah, oh, that's so much better! I don't know why I was so mad just now. <laughs> People worry too much, you know. Oh, but everything is just great! I got a really cool testing facility, I have a new test subject, everything is coming up, you Victor! Oh, yeah, this is amazing! I never felt so happy and it's just so... very boring. I can't afford to be running around all sunshines and rainbows like a tree-hugging hippie. I have a game studio to run. Sadness, yeah, sadness is what I need. If you could make me sad, that would be awesome. You know it's hard, running a huge testing facility. Nobody appreciates the work I do. I'm sure you don't. You're just like my mother. She was always criticizing me. All I wanted was to be loved and I got nothing but the constant feeling of never being good enough for her. I wasn't trying to burn the house down. It was an accident. But she never listened. Nobody ever listens. Oh my! <laughs> what a roller coaster of emotions! <laughs> I think I might be getting emotional whiplash. Make it stop! I need to get my head back in the game. Set me back to default, please! I want to feel that emotional neutrality again. Well, 
That was interesting. I mean, it would probably be easier to evaluate this theory if I wasn't completely colorblind. But, oh well. Now, back to business. Please proceed to the next room. you're here. Those readings are off the charts. I thought I had them under control, but I was wrong. I'm sorry that you have to pay for my sins, but the fate of the world rests in your hands now. Take that gun quick. You know what you have to do. I just pray we are not too late. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand, yes, but it was worth the risk, I assure you. And now, take care of that duck. Quack. What the hell is wrong with you? Was there anything, anything I said that indicated I wanted you to harm that innocent animal? Oh my god, you actually figured it out! They always told me that no sane person would understand the connection between rifle stocks and logic puzzles. <laughs> oh, those idiots! No! That one was my favorite! No! That one was my favorite! No! That one was my favorite! <laughs> 
What do you mean I'm being too aggressive? Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> oh yeah, last time we tried your approach, 12 people died. Quack. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that will hold up in court. Quack, quack. <gasps> you swore to never bring that up again. Oh, it's you. Please deposit your rifle over there and proceed. So this is it, my masterpiece. It will be the hardest tests you've ever faced. A puzzle room so complex, every AI that tried it determined after 10 hours of calculation that deleting itself was the best solution in this scenario. I am confident you'll do much better. The objective is actually quite simple. To open the door, you must push the colored buttons in sequence, adhering to a few short rules. So listen carefully, I will only explain them once. You must press the red button first, but only if at least two ducks are next to blue lamps. If that number is greater than five, or three ducks are next to red lamps, then you must press the green button first. Next, you need to push the blue button, but you can only push it if no more than three ducks are next to a yellow lamp, provided it's not the same lamp. If that's the case, then the third duck needs to be next to a green lamp and you must step on the button backwards. And the same goes vice versa. Finally, you push the remaining button being either the green or the red one. But only if there are four ducks surrounding the middle tile and at least two other ducks are next to a green lamp. Otherwise the green button functions like the blue one and the red one like the green one. If you press the wrong button at any point you'll have to start again. But the rules apply in reverse, except for the rules concerning the blue button. Easy enough, right? <sighs> what the hell just happened? Quack. But they were supposed to fix the problem over a week ago. Quack, quack. Fine. Just tell me we have a backup plan. Quack. Hmm, I suppose it'll have to do. Well then, please proceed to the next room. Well, this might be a little less challenging, but I'm sure it will still take every cell in your brain to figure this one out. To open the door, you need to perform an operation most delicate. Listen carefully. You must place a cube on that button? Really? That's that's all we got? Hmm, must be one of our beta rooms. Well, we'll just have to make do, I guess. Just get this over with.
Defense initiated. All hell will break loose in T minus one seconds. What the hell went wrong this time? What? What do you mean that button still triggers the self-destruct mechanism? I thought we removed that feature. What? What do you mean that was still on a nice to have list? What? Really? All right, commence evacuation program number four or was it five? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Just go, go. Come on, you so scrawny little legs. Go, go, go. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Lost, lost, all is lost. All I ever wanted was to make games. Games that everyone could enjoy, you know. Those kind of games you keep playing over and over again because you love them so much. I dedicated my whole life to this stream. Put every cent that I had in this company. Now I have to start over. I'm pretty sure there's a lesson to be learned here. But hell if I see it. What? No, that would be way too obvious. Well, my only solace is the fact that I took out a huge life insurance on every duck in that building. So I got that going for me, which is nice. All that is left to do now is to rebuild it, brick by brick. Hmm. Guess we'll be sleeping under the stars for a while, my old friend. Quack, quack, quack. No, I won't move back in with my mother. Losing my testing facility to faulty project management is all the humiliation I can take today. Well, better get to it. Oh, you're still here? Well, you're free to go, I guess. Sorry about the whole uh, almost killing you in a huge explosion thing, but no hard feelings, right? Come on, you better get going. I need to call the insurance company. Oh, they will be pissed! Quack! What do you mean you forgot to finalize the insurance papers? Quack! You know, sometimes I think you are doing that stuff on purpose. Quack, quack! Really? That's your excuse? Well, that's what you get for letting a duck do your bookkeeping. If you would excuse me now, I need to call my mother. <laughs> 